Ray Ujama. Man. What's going on, family? Let's get it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's get it. Let's get it. What's up, Brother Kwame? Sorry for the lateness. Somebody else is out there. Thank you for joining us today. And we are on Ujima. This for me is day 18. And boy, when I tell you, fasting, man, listen. You feel your age. Well, actually, it takes you through the aging process. It's sort of like taking you through the death process, man. It's really, I'm really learning a lot of stuff. Um, um, I feel that I'm growing a little bit. I'm coming up with some good ideas, some workable ideas. So, hey, family, we're about to get it on. I think I'm on once again. Is it day? I think it's day, day, day 18. Day 18. What did I say? Day 18. See, I'm, I'm, I'm losing track of my thoughts. Uh, so, uh, let's get it. We're about to do our toast. If anybody out there new and you have any ancestors that you want me to toast up while I'm on here doing this, by all means, post them up. Let's get it going. Uh, if you have any special issues, that you want us as a collective to focus on, post them up. Um, uh, the day is 7 17. Ujima, for those that don't know, this is the Nguza Cyber Challenge. I started Daily Toast with the Nguza Cyber Challenge. All this other stuff came up out of, um, out of my experience. Wow, I ain't had a bump on my head in a while. Out of, our, out of my experience over this time. So I've been learning a lot. I've been sharing a lot of information. Uh, today, we're gonna make our own toothpaste. Um, so, um, you know, be sure to check out the YouTube channel. Um, today is Ujima once again. I say great Ujima to you. Um, of course, those who know what Ujima is, Cooperative Economics. Um, the myotic principle for the day is reciprocity. Um, the M7, some people know what that, what that is. The Millennium 7 principle of the day is gratitude. Color is green. The hermetic law for the day is polarity. Okay? Polarity. All right, now, let's get into it and let's do this toast so I can go on, let y'all go. But it's a uh, it's a great. Um, I'm honored to be here this morning because, like yesterday, was a real struggle for me, a real struggle. Man, I can't believe that I got a bump on my head. Good great. man. All right. Well, I guess that's the least of my problems, huh? All right. So, um, first, drink some water with me. We ask that everybody that joins us for the toast. Get you a glass. Grown folks, we drink out of we drinking glasses up in here. And we see my ancestors. My friend, where's that? Bring them out. 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 All right. Drink you some healthy water. Not that sink water. We don't want to get that fluoride. That's why we got to make our own toothpaste. All right? Limit our contact with some of that, some of those toxins. All right, so now get you some pure water, or close as pure as possible. I'm doing spring water. All right, let's drink up.
Yeah, I'm gonna drink up as much water as possible because starting tomorrow, we move into a nothing fast, you know what I'm saying? So I won't be doing water, I won't be doing food. I'm just gonna be, all right? Oh, good morning, Ms. Monica. Mm. All right, let's toast it up. We're going to toast it up. So, First, giving honor to the Creator by whatever name you choose, call it Creator. We call it Great Force, that unifying force that flows amongst us, that lifts the that lifts us up, right? Um, that keeps us alive, right? That gave us uh, a place to exist and a reason to exist. We toast that Creator, we salute that Creator, and we say, "I say." From there, we move to our personal ancestors. For those that are new here. We toast our personal ancestors here, right? Not that we got anything against the other ancestors, but I honestly believe we don't give enough credence to our own family lines, right? So we lift up our personal ancestors. So here we toast our grandmothers and grandfathers, our mothers and our fathers, our uncles and our aunts, our friends and our cousins, our nieces and our nephews, all those people who have made their transition before us. We lift them up. We toast them. We thank them for being present in our lives. We thank them for making an impact on our lives. We thank them for uh, uh, doing things for us when we couldn't do it for ourselves. We thank them for giving us lessons that other people that I mean that other people possibly couldn't give us. We thank them for giving us discipline when we need it. We thank them for uh, praying for us. Um, um, when we didn't have sense to pray for ourselves, we thank them and, and we lift them up. So I'm going to go throughout my family line. If you have some family members that you want to toast, either do it in your own privacy of your home or you can post their name up on the timeline and I will shout them out. Don't matter what, when you put it on the timeline, I'm going to shout them out. Miles Brown, Miss Ann, Robert and Texana Davis, Herman Brown Sr., Rosalie Tilly, Georgia William Walton, Chris and Fanny Gatson, I, I, um, Chris and Fanny Gasson, Aunt Nina, Uncle Chris, Geneva Brown, Cleveland Brown, Margaret Ellis, Wash Ellis, Cecil Ellis, Wash Ellis Jr., Herman Brown, uh, Herman Brown II, um, Alvira Brown, Gina Gaines, Barbara Twiggs. Boom. Got it. All right, now. Uh, Jamon Jones, Jeremiah Tappan, Montague Pittman L, John Fillard, Normal X, Sepet Ma Ra, Elder Donaldson, Elder Harrison, Elder Farmer, Elder Millie, um, Pastor Yusuf Weston, um, Dr. Marianne Williams, uh, Tony Clark, got him. Uh, Virginia Scott, toast. We lift up our glass and we say to our ancestors, I say, know that they with us, man. I'm telling you, as you start toasting your ancestors on a daily basis, right? As you start toasting your ancestors on a daily basis, you start feeling their presence. Let me tell you, listen. I went to a meeting yesterday, um, a Kwanzaa, a Kwanzaa planning meeting, right? Um, Sister Jill um, decided that she wanted to start early of getting ready for Kwanzaa this year, which was a brilliant idea. So I'm driving and I think I'm at the wrong library, the driving park. But I said, oh no, it's not driving park, it's another one. So I pull over to the side of the road to um so I could check my phone. So I'm checking my phone and I'm getting directions for the Linden Library because for some reason Linden is on my mind. 
And I said, well, damn, I'm supposed to be at the Linden Library, not the Driving Park Library. So I pull over. And it just so happened exactly where I pulled over, um, an elder pulled up on me in a wheelchair, an electric wheelchair. And he barely could talk, and he said, can you get can you get me into the church? And I'm like, what? Can you get me into the church? And I'm like, well, you know, I'm kind of late for a meeting, but I said, fuck it. Yeah, well, yes, yes, sir, yes, sir. Boom. Get out the car. You know, you already know I'm struggling because it's like I'm already, I'm weak. You know what I'm saying? It's hard enough for me to walk around. But for some reason, I had enough energy to go and help him get this big-ass wheelchair Get him in the wheelchair inside this church, right? So then I leave the meeting. I ain't have no cash on me. I walk in. I got an old lottery ticket on me. I walk in and get exactly the amount of money I need from the lottery machine to to get what I wanted. Now, what I wanted wasn't totally right, but hey, the point is the ancestors are, is with us, man. And the piece is, we got to start toasting them up. We got to start remembering them, right? We got to start getting, we got to become culturally appropriate. We got to start doing culturally appropriate stuff so that we can start receiving the blessings of our culture. Like I said, culture is a blanket that wraps us. A culture, our, our culture protects us. Our culture provides for us. But in order for the culture to work, we got to work it. Right? We're not working it. Family. Oh, my God. It's, it's incredible. But we toast our ancestors, right? Our personal ancestors, right? We move on from there. We toast this moment. In this moment, the day is Ujima. The day is Ujima, right? In this moment is our power, right? In this principle, in this moment, uh, in this moment is our power. So we toast this moment and we say our shade. From there, we toast our children, our children's children, on to infinity. Okay? On to infinity. Right? We don't want to just... We're responsible for seven generations. But being generational people, we understand that we are here forever. Um, Brother Kwame, I had to take my dog out. But peace, fam. What's up, Brother Kwame? Welcome back. Well, anyway... We are responsible. We are responsible for at least the next seven generations. But we are a generational people. Which means that we constantly come back to the same bloodline. Which means that if we don't leave the bloodline better than we found it, you know what I'm saying? When we come back, we're coming back to a raggedy bloodline. I personally am not coming back to a raggedy bloodline. So I'm putting in the work now. I hope that you put in the work on your bloodline as well, right? And we got to raise our children so that they will maintain and respect the bloodline. What do you mean by respect the bloodline? They will not bring fools, right, into the bloodline. They will not bring dangerous people into the bloodline. They will not bring weak people with DNA into the bloodline. I'm just saying, right? I'm just saying. So we lift up our glass to our children, our children's children unto infinity. We toast them now so that they will toast us later. Um, from there, we move on to any special concerns that anybody out there got. If you have a special concern that you want us to toast for, let us know. You know what I'm saying? Put it up. Because like I said, um, according to the numbers, we got people... Toasting from all over. A lot of them don't show up in the morning. You know what I'm saying? Because I can stand 415. You know what I'm saying? 415. I'm not trying to. Not, I'm not trying to do nothing. Ah, hell. I'm not. I don't even know how I got trapped of uh, doing the toast of 415. I don't. You know? But like I said, the ancestors move in strange ways. Right? And it's like, I got to get up. Um, Umoja. I almost said it. Umoja, Dunia, I got to get up. Even even when I'm off, I got to get up. It's crazy. It's like, uh, alarm go up, boom. I'm like, I'm ready to go. Take me a cold shower. I didn't get to do, do my breathing exercise this morning. But, you know what I'm saying? I took a cold shower. 
listen to uh, Umar Johnson on the Roland Johnson show. I mean, on the Roland Martin show. I was checking that out. But point is, I'm here. And I thank you for being here. But if you have a concern, post it up. Because we got different people toasting at different times. So this means we got a circle of people. And when there's three gathered, it's power, family. There's power. So we lift up our glass to you. Any issues, any special concerns that you have, we ask the ancestors to work with you. And we say, I say, I ain't got another glass right now. I say, I say, I say. I wish you peace, power, and 100 years. All right? Y'all have a great morning, a great day, a powerful day, a magnificent day, a fantastic day, a fabulous day. And I pray that your day will be as beautiful as you are. This is Brother Hatim, and I am out.